All right, guys, welcome. This is Android Cowboy, and today I want to show you guys how to uh, have both Amazon services and Google Play Store all, all on the Kindle Fire HD X. This, of course, is going to require root access, and also it's going to require this app called Safe Strap, which is what you see on the screen here. And I'm not going to cover here in this video rooting and Safe Strap. Uh, those you can I have other videos for that and you can check the link in the video for both of those uh, but make sure you have root access and you have safe strap involved and you're also going to need uh, five other files which I have uh, transferred here over to my downloads folder I'm going to have a link for you guys to grab all those but I'm going to show you guys here the first one is exposed installer that's the app you're going to need second one is HDX exposed that's the module Third one is Thor Amazon OS. That's just a stock OS that we're going to flash. Uh, Thor Gaps is obviously the Gaps. Um, that's going to have the Google Play Store. And the last one is just a super user a zip file, which we're going to need after we install the software. So these are the five files you're going to need. Those are going to be in uh, the link in the description. So grab those, uh, transfer them to your um, device, put them in some folder. I have it in the downloads folder here, as you can see, uh, just a convenient place. And once you have those, you have root. And you have Safe Strap, and you have uh, through Safe Strap you've installed uh, the recovery, which you should have done if you watched the other video. Now we're going to re reboot to recovery. I'm going to show you guys how to go through this process. It's uh, it's fairly uh, easy. It's not too bad. So we're going to reboot to recovery, and we'll be back. Okay, so we're back. Uh, this is the recovery that you're going to go into at, uh, using Safe Strap. Now, one thing you notice is the very top, you see it says ROM slot stock. So that's very important here. If you watch the other video, you know that what, what we're going to do is not do anything on the stock. This is the stock Amazon OS. And uh, if we do anything on there, we have a chance of breaking. So we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is go into boot options and we're going to create a ROM slot. If you do it for the first time, uh, you're going to see a screen like this, which lets you choose the sizes that you want. So if you, uh, if you do this for the first time, go ahead and pick your sizes. Uh, you can go to the max here. I think the max here for data partition is 4 gigs. Um, and on the bottom here, you can hit Create ROM Slot. I've already done that. Uh, I've already done that for the ROM Slot 1. So when I go here, it's going to allow me to activate, which is what I'm going to do right now. So you can see the top, if you notice, is very important. It's switched to ROM Slot, right? Previously, it was stock. Now it's ROM Slot. So now we know that everything we're doing is on this slot and not the stock, and that's going to be very important, okay? Because uh, again, if you do anything on the stock, you have a chance of breaking. So never do anything on that. Always use a ROM slot. Okay. So now that we have that, what we're going to do is go into the install here, and you're going to find the folder that you had it in. Remember, mine was in the downloads folder. So here we go. We're going to go in the downloads folder, and uh, it's in here that you're going to flash. Uh, those zip files that you know what we're gonna do is uh, just first we're gonna flash the Thor Amazon okay this is basically uh, we've created a ROM slot but we don't really have any software installed on there so we're gonna install a stock uh, Amazon software and this is the Thor one okay so just go ahead and pick Thor Amazon and here on the bottom you will say you're gonna swipe here and that will install it for you okay so we're gonna swipe that and that's gonna install and it shouldn't take too long I'm going to move this down here so you guys can see. And we're going to be back when this finishes. Okay, so now you can see successful. Our uh, stock OS has been installed. Uh, we're not going to reboot, actually. We're going to hit the home button here. And we're going to go back to the, uh, we're going to go back here to the install. And what we need to do is actually install the super user app because we installed the stock OS, but it's actually not rooted. So we just need to root it. So just pick that. And this will go fairly fast and, and swipe on the bottom here. And that will, uh, that will install super user access. Okay, so now we're done. Now we can actually uh, reboot to the system. And so we're going to go ahead and do that. And this is going to be our brand new uh, OS. And we're going to be back right after this reboot. Okay, well, we are back. That first reboot takes a little while, so don't worry if you notice uh, it's taking a long time. That's normal for that first uh, reboot. So, as you can see, we're in the welcome screen uh, because we, we have a stock uh, OS here. So, I'm going to go quickly. Um, uh, we're going to go quickly through this uh, real quickly. Um, I'm not going to really. Um, we're going to complete setup later. Okay. 
So we're in the stock OS, okay? And obviously you're going to need to add your Wi-Fi and all that information. Um, but what we're going to do is um, go into... Uh, so as you can see, we have super user access here, uh, as you can tell. So what we're going to need to do is go ahead and add your Amazon services because we're going to need uh, ES File Explorer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and uh, go ahead and add, connect this to my Amazon. And then I'm going to be uh, right back and show you guys how we're going to finish uh, this uh, setup, okay? Okay, so uh, I've gone ahead and added my Amazon account to this, um, and I've downloaded ES File Explorer, which we're going to need again. Um, so once you have your Amazon account added and you, you're able to get ES File Explorer, what we're going to do is now um, install uh, the two uh, apps that we need. Now, one thing is before you do that um, is that you want to make sure that you actually uh, go into um, go into your settings and allow uh, applications from unknown sources. And I'm going to uh, show you in a second where that is. So you're going to need to do that uh, real quick. Okay, let me just... Um, okay, so make sure you go into settings here. And if you go under applications, the top here, make sure that's on apps from unknown sources. Okay, so if you don't do that, it's not going to let you install this. Okay, so you go here, you go back to your downloads folder. Remember, that's where all our apps were. And what we're going to need to do is install the uh, ex um, exposed installer. So we're going to go ahead and install that. And down here at the bottom, just hit install. Okay. And when, once uh, once that's installed, just open uh, open the app. Okay. And it's going to tell you that the framework is not installed, which is what we're going to need to do. Okay. So we're going to go to framework here, and we're going to tell it to uh, install the framework. Okay. And remember, this is going to ask for a super user, which, again, we need it because we, we were root. Okay. So you can see now we have the green active uh, that it was um installed okay now I'm going to go back to our ES file explorer and we're going to now install the module which is the second one expose SDK I'm going to go ahead and install that it's going to say done okay now we're going to go back into the apps and we're going to um, we're going to find the expose installer. so it might be under uh, on device here it should be right there so go back into expose installer um, and what you want to do is now go into modules. Okay, and you can see this module is there. So you want to check that. Okay, so now we're ready. So now we just need to reboot and install our Thor uh, gaps. Okay, so we're going to just turn this off. All right, we're going to just turn the Kindle off here and reboot it. Okay, so yeah, shut it off. We're going to turn it back on, except when we turn it back on. We're going to not go into the OS. We're going to go back into the bootloader. And you can, and I'll show you here what happens. When you turn it on, you have the gray, the gray signal, right? But at the bottom, you're going, to get, um, you're going to get this option to go into recovery. See at the bottom it says recovery. So go ahead and hit that. Um, that's important so you can go back into recovery. Okay, so now we're back into our recovery. As you remember, this was our normal recovery that we, that we installed the software. So now we're going to go, again, make sure you're in ROM slot 1. That's important always. Make sure you, anytime you do something, uh, you have that green sign and it says ROM slot. Okay, don't do anything on the stock. So we're going to go back to install. Uh, we're going to go back to our downloads folder. And this time, the last thing we need to do is install the Thor Gaps installer 1. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in here. Um, and that's that one over there. Okay, so we're going to install that one. Okay. And this is going to be the last thing that we need to install. And after this, we're going to be uh, done. We're going to reboot. And we should be able to have uh, uh, the gaps, the Google Play Store and the Amazon services. And that'll be it. Then we'll be, uh, we'll be a happy Kindle user. OK, so reboot the system. All right. And this reboot now, uh, after the first one, shouldn't take too long. That first reboot when you install the software is always takes uh, a little bit longer than another one okay so we'll be right back after we reboot here so you can hit continue okay so as we're booting uh, you can see you see the Kindles upgrading that's because we installed uh, the gaps and that's where uh, um, that is coming from okay so we're booted back up and so now you can see right away one difference is that now it's asking us which launcher do we want 
and that basically lets you pick the AOSP launcher or the Kindle one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just choose the Kindle one for now and just put just once just so you guys can see what's going on. So that boots back up to our regular uh, installer. But if we go to apps here, you can see we have some Google apps going on here, right? And we also have the Google Play Store. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up the Google Play Store and add my account here real quickly. And then I'll be right back and then I'll show you guys that both of those are working, okay? Okay, so I'm back. So there it is, guys. There is the Google Play Store, and it's on the Kindle, as you can see. I'm going to zoom in here for you guys. So you can see I have the Google Play Store. Um, that's uh, under my account. And on top of that, uh, again, this, this brings up the launcher. You can always uh, uh, choose the AOSP launcher. Again, I'm going to just use the Kindle launcher for now just to show you guys. And again, so I have Google Play Store working. But as you can see, I can also go into the Amazon services and here and able to connect uh, to my Amazon account as well. And as you can see, I can I can see those as well. Um, again, go here, for example, go to books. And here, these are some of my books you can see. Um, so again, this shows you that uh, with this, I have both my Google Play Store and Amazon services, both of them on the same OS. Now again, this is not on your... Stock OS is basically uh, an uh, basic alternative OS right next to it uh, that you can uh, you can use, but you get the best of both worlds there. So if you want to check out the other launcher, if you hit that, this is going to be kind of your normal AOSP like Android launcher, right? This is kind of uh, what you would look like on a normal Android. So if you prefer that launcher, you can, and you can always go back uh, between uh, the two as well uh, by hitting the here, if you go to the home Kindle here, you can always go back to the other launcher. Okay, so there it is, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You can see it wasn't really that hard. You, you just have to like install a few things and reboot, but uh, it's not really uh, it's not really too bad of a process. So uh, there you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Please subscribe uh, to the video uh, and be sure to follow us on um, Google Plus and all our social channels and. Uh, to let you guys know, if you're watching this video, we're going to have a nice giveaway coming very, very soon. A really nice one. So uh, stay tuned to us and see you guys next time.